want to create stunning designs that literally jump off the screen. In this video, I'm going to show you the secret to creating the viral pop-out effect in Canva, and it's easier than you think. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create the viral pop-out trend that is going around right now. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Canva. We're going to create this inside of Canva. And once you're inside of Canva, you're going to click on create. And then you're going to pick what size you want to create the design in. So for this design, I'm going to do 2500 by 2500 pixels. I'm going to click on create new design. And then once we're in here, we are going to go ahead and go to elements and we're going to type in number frames. I'm gonna click on see all. So let's pretend that we are making a design for a sweet 16 birthday girl. So I'm going to click on a one and a six. I'm going to make sure that they are the same size. I'm going to highlight them, click on group, and then make it larger. Okay, now once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my image. So if I'm doing this for a client or I'm, I'm just making this for, you know, a family member or whatever, you want to bring that image in. So being as though we are just doing this for demonstration purposes, I'm going to grab a image off of Canva since we are already in here. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to type in um, birthday girl. I'm going to click on photo, see all, and I'm just going to go through until I see one that I want to use. You have a lot of options here. If you were just making a demo. Okay, I like this girl here. So I'm going to click on her. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this three times. So I'm going to do one, two. Okay, I'm going to bring these out the way. Out the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag it into the one and inside the six. Now, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go ahead and lock this so that it's not changing while I'm trying to change it. All right, so next thing I want to do is I want to make this image bigger. I'm going to click on remove background. This is a pro feature. And then once I have the background removed, I can kind of see where I want to place her. So I'm going to make her a little bigger. Okay, so I have the one in six here. I kind of want her hand, how it is, leaning on here, and I want her foot kind of on that ledge, popping out the one and a six, kind of like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click position and I'm going to move her to the back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock her position so that she's not moving. And then I'm going to go ahead and click in here. I'm going to unlock this so we can work with it. And I'm going to click inside the one first. And I want to make this one the same size. And I want to kind of match her up. 
So you have to kind of play around with it. I think that's about right. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the six. I'm going to make her bigger. And I want to line her up. Make her a little bigger. Tap it. Okay. And there we have her lined up. And then we also have her pushed to the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and group it all. I might have to unlock this one in the back so that I can group it all together. Group. Okay. All right. So as you can see, it kind of looks like she's popping out of the 16. And then all we need to do now is just add a background. So I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to type in party background. And then you can kind of see what would go with this. Okay, I like this one. So all you have to do is just, I'm going to say, click on this, and I'm going to put set images background, just like that. And then we already have this, so we can kind of move this how we want. We can make it bigger. And you can kind of position it how you want. Even if you wanted it to kind of match up with the ledge on this, you can do that. Or you can move it up a little bit. You can make it smaller. I mean, you can kind of play around with it and make it how you want. Okay, and that is all. This is how you create a pop-out effect. And that's how you create the viral pop-out effect in Canva. Now you have a powerful new trick to make your designs pop. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips on using AI and design to grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.